Hey guys, it's M Cubes here, and today I'm answering uh, some of Orange Cuber's questions. And this is in his 100 question challenge thing. This is a different um, comment. He commented on one of Cubologist's videos, and I wanted to answer these questions. There's a lot of them, so I'm going to get to them. Mm. Averages. What do you average on all WCA events? Well, I have that in my channel about page, so I'm not going to answer that right now. What are your Cuban goals on your goals? Um, sub 12. An average at competition, that will be cool. What are your YouTube goals? 1,000 subscribers, and I would be pretty happy with that. What are your in competition goals? Uh, I kind of said before on accident, um, under 12 on 3x3. What are your life goals? Um, I don't know, be a millionaire, I guess. Events, can you blind solve? Absolutely not. If so, what method do you use? I don't solve blind, but my my main method for 3x3 is CFOP, even though I don't know full OLL or PLL, but I'm working on it. What are your main three events? 2x2, two 3x3, two, three three, and I guess skew, but once I get a Pyraminx, it'll probably be Pyraminx. If you got to go, if you got to only do one event in every competition, what would it be? Probably three by three or two by two. What event do you practice the most? Two by two because I don't do three by three much for some reason. Do you do feet? Hmm, interesting video. I might do that actually. A video me solving with feet, but it's kind of hard. But I I can start doing feet. I guess. What are your mains? That's also in my channel about page. So yeah, what is your least favorite event? Well, I don't have a clock or square one, but square one seems to be hard apparently, and, and not many people like clock, so I'm gonna say clock, cause bandwagon, I don't know. Clock just seems annoying for some reason. It's not really a twisty puzzle, if you get what I mean. If you got to hold a world record in any event, which would it be? Three by three single because that's the one that gets the most attention. Like Colin Burns is like he's like all over the news now because he got that five point two five. Food. Do you like pizza? Yes. Do you like ice cream? Absolutely. If so, what is your favorite flavor? I can't decide, but I have to say vanilla just because. And also, what is your favorite topping? Ah, uh, I haven't had ice cream in a long time though. Um. Uh, chocolate chips. What's your favorite food? I I don't know really. I'm just gonna say pizza. What is your favorite cooked sugar with a bunch of cream on top? Do you like Asian food? Yeah. Do you like Indian food? I eat it every day. Yes. Do you like donuts? Yes, a lot. Do you like butter or margarine more? I don't see why this is a question, but butter all the way. Do you like peanut butter on Oreos? No. I've never tried that actually. Orange Cuber says it's amazing. You get lots of midnight snacks. Uh, no, I'm usually not awake at midnight, but yeah. Can you eat a slice of cake right now? Oh. Probably not. I don't have cake at my house, but I also don't want to eat cake right now. It's like the middle. Of, it's like 10 o'clock, but... <laughs> Do you like pancakes? Yes, I love them. Waffles or pancakes? Pancakes. Tacos or tortillas? Um, tacos. They have stuff. Fruits or vegetables? Fruits, they taste better. Chocolate milk or white? Chocolate milk, because that's the best recovery for sports. Yeah. Lemonade or orange juice? Lemonade. Stickers? Si oh. Stickers? I think you mean Snickers or Reese's. Reese's aren't as good as Snickers, I think. But I haven't had a Reese's in a long time. I know, right? Mint or butterscotch? Butterscotch. Chicken or pork? I this don't eat pork. In comes all the hate. Chicken. Favorite soda. Sprite you all the way. Cubing. One, what do you, two, what got you into cubing? Well, a lot of my friends at school cubed. Is that? I was like, hey, that's cool. Why don't I do that? What is the most expensive cube you have? I think it's my Outwang. Thirty-five dollars. Kind of a lot of money, but yeah. How much have you spent on cubes? Probably like a hundred fifty dollars by now. Well, not that much, more like 125. Big difference, but yeah. When did you get into cubing? Last September, last year, about a year. Yeah. Will you ever quit cubing? 
Well, not in the near future, but I am guessing someday I'll probably quit just because I can't cube not enough time and stuff. But yeah. How much time a day do you spend cubing? Well, I cube in like all my free time kind of thing. Like if I'm like waiting for my parents to pick me up from somewhere, I'll cube. Or if I'm just sitting down on YouTube, I'll just cube. So, about a long time, I guess. What is the smoothest cube you have? Probably my GANs. Here, if you can hear this. It's pretty smooth. So, what is the worst cube you have? I don't have many bad cubes, but I would say my Shangshao, um, Shangshao mirror blocks just because I don't like them for some reason. What is the loudest cube you have? Probably the GANs again, because if you turn it fast, you can hear that, right? What is the quietest cube you have? I don't know. This whenever it turns slow. By this I meant my GAN, but yeah. What is the fastest cube you have? Feng Shi Guan Ying. Yeah. What is the biggest cube you have? Uh Mo Yu Ao Chui, five by five, I guess. I'm trying to I'm hopefully gonna get a big cube sometime. Like bigger than five by five. What is the smallest cube you have? Well, funny story, I used to have a Mario, Mario Nano Cube. Then my friend at school picked it up. <coughs> and you can guess what happened then. <coughs> when did you start cubing? Oh, um, September last year, about a year. What is your favorite Mega Minx? I have one, Shang Shao. But I'm guessing the YJ Yuhu's going to be better. Maybe even the Dian's better, probably. Who is your favorite Cuber? I like a lot of Cubers, but Cubologist. He's the one the comments on. I watch like all of his videos. He's great. Yeah. Who in your opinion is the best cuber? Felix M. Dubs. <laughs> like no no question about that. He has the world record average and that's like Yeah. What is your biggest greatest cubing achievement? Well that one's actually in this video. Or I could say my nineteen point six seven three by three solve, but the one two three two by two solve. 1.23, but yeah, those two, I guess. What is your biggest cubing fail? I think that's also in this video. I ha almost had a PB solve, then it turned into like a five second solve, I think. So yeah, does your family like you cubing? Well, at the start, I was like, hey, can, I, can you get me a Rubik's Cube, Dad? And then he's like, yeah, sure, you're gonna learn how to solve it? I'm like, yeah. And then now they think I spend too much money on it, but they're fine with it, like, they kind of like it, I guess. Does your family recognize how amazing you are compared to all nub non-cubers? I guess, but I always tell them I'm not that fast compared to fast cubers. So, I guess they know, but anyways. What are your thought what are your thoughts on cube violence? Like I really don't understand why people break their cubes. I understand you get like views on YouTube, but I I mean like I would really not break any of my cubes, they're, like, precious to me, I guess. What are your thoughts on fake solves? Well, if you fake a solve, it's kind of just easy to, like, solve, like, it's kind of easy to learn how to solve a cube. If you're taking to ti the time to fake a solve, that time would be better spent learning how to actually solve a cube. It's kind of easy. What do you think the next world record broken will be? Uh, let's just go out on a limb and say, Scube. I don't, I don't know. No, actually, the Scube single is pretty fast. Um, I'll say four by four single. Yeah. Do you think someone will dethrone Faz? F A Z all capital. I I'm sorry, I don't know who that is. Do you think a new company will dethrone Moyu? Well, Moyu's like swap the market like I don't I'm not sure if anyone will be able to do that but I it could happen Diane come back no the Diane pyramid sucks but anyways I don't know what are your world record predictions for 2025 three by three single will be like a 3.5 and four by four will be like I think it's 24 right now it'll be like a 19 do you think cubing stores will pop up in real life um, they should, I would hope they would. 
like they they don't sell like cause you can only buy Rubik's brands now at stores. But I would hope the cubicle or like cubes for speed would like spread out and like make cubing stores. But that costs a lot of money for them, so I don't know. It'd be kind of hard to do that, but yeah. Next one, favorite site to order from. Uh, right now, cubicle, but. I'm looking at the cubes for speed. I have an order from them coming. It's a largish unboxing. I got that from Cubologist, by the way. <laughs> you can guess. But yeah, I I I might start ordering from cubes for speed more. Are you color neutral? I don't know, but I'm working on yellow cross. I do white cross right now. How many algs do you know? Um, I I might put an annotation. But I, I don't know if I should, like, I don't know if I'll find out, because it's kind of a lot. Not really that much, though. What is your favorite owl? T-perm, because I can kind of do it fast. What's your least favorite owl? Um, R-perm, R-B-perm. Yeah. Do you know full OLL slash PLL? No. I'm I'm working on PLL, but not really. How many different three by three methods do you know? Only one, and it's kind of. I haven't even done CFOB really. How many subsets of valves do you know? I don't exactly know what that means, but yeah. What methods do you use on all WCA events? I use all the basic methods really, except for three by three, and I'm working on Ortega for two by two. But yeah, that's it really. If you had to only be able to solve one puzzle for the rest of the time, which one would it be? Ooh, that's a hard choice because I might be bored for long amounts of times, but I would have to say Gans 356, my main 3x3. Unless the Hualong I'm getting, spoiler alert, but I'm getting a Hualong, which is kind of old cute, but that might be my new main. So yeah, it might be that. Favorite website for Alex? Um, Bad Mephistos. However you say that. His cubing site. He's a great teacher on F2L and stuff. So I would say his website. How do you loop slash tension your cubes? I could make a video on that. I might make a video on that. Yeah, I'll make a video on that soon. Diane versus Ling Po. I'm gonna say Diane, but I don't have either of those. I'm getting a Zing Yu soon, thank she. Another spoiler on cubes I'm getting. Do you do magic? Oh wait, nope, just skipped a bunch. How many competitions have you been to? Zero, but I'm hoping to go to some this year. Maybe that next year if there's no competitions. What was your favorite competition? Uh, no competitions been to yet. If you got to get one cube, price having no effect, which one would it be? The 17 by 17, that I could sell it and get a bunch of cubes. But realistically, like if only I can keep that cube, probably the 13 by 13, just because it sounds and looks like a beast. So yeah. What is your OH hand? Left hand. Do you do magic? Uh, no, kind of. I have two magics, but then non-cubers broke them, so I'm never giving a magic to a non-cuber again. Do you have a speed solving account? Yes, I do. Favorite stock sticker shades? Mo you. There's a custom sticker shades. Well, I have normal white, um, ocean blue, uh, normal red, I think, and then fluorescent yellow, green, and orange. Favorite cuboid. Don't have a cuboid? Looking into that soon. Favorite sticker mod. The ones that um, Adam the Rubik's Cube makes seem cool. So maybe when they come out on Cube Spit, I might buy them. But I don't really have one. Maybe his Ninja Star Cube, Ninja Cube, I think that was it. So maybe that that would be my favorite one. Stickerless versus stickered in terms of what's better. Um, stickerless probably. I'm getting a stickerless cube. Which two of them are stick? I don't know how many of them are stickerless actually. Some of them are stickerless. That I'm getting in from Cubes for Speed. What puzzle should we mass produce? 17 by 17. That would be like so cool if everyone could get a 17 by 17. <coughs> Sorry, okay. Community. What is your favorite thing about the Cuban community? Most of them are nice. What is your least favorite thing about the Cuban community? Some of them aren't nice. What is the funniest thing about the Cuban community? 
Well, uh, I just watched Derek Cuber's live stream, and I love that, like, everyone was making fun of Chris Olsen about him and Just Keep Cubing. So, that was funny. I'm not sure if that's actually true, though. How active would you say you are in the Cuban community? Not very active, because I haven't been to a competition, but maybe I will be soon. So, yeah. Who is the coolest person in the Cuban community? Cough, me, cough. That That's from Orange Cuber. Um, you Orange Cuber. Yay. What are your opinions on the 2015 regs? I'm thinking he means regulations by the WCA. Well, I like that they're letting stickerless cubes, but yeah, seems good. Do you see the Cuban community growing or shrinking? Definitely growing. YouTube. How did you get your YouTube name? Well, I like math, and N is like representation of anything, so I do anything and everything Cuban. See? 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 Uh. Did you have many other names? Um, <coughs> uh, no. Kind of just this one. How many subs did you think you would get when starting? Uh. Well, I kind of am still starting. I thought I'll get like maybe 10 subs, which I have right now, but 10 subs in like. So Orange Cuber has an extra part, it's called Other, but I don't think I'll be able to do that for now. So, thanks for watching guys, watch the rest of like the, like the 50 seconds of the rest of the average, and like, comment, subscribe, and especially comment, I want to see what you guys want to say, and I'll be making those two videos I was talking about in the near future. Bye!